Hello dudes, welcome to Tector.com. In this lecture we will un understand one of the type of relationship constraint that is cardinality ratio. Okay, so let's start. Cardinality ratio is the number of relationship instance that an entity can participate in. Okay, what do we mean by it? As I explained in the previous lecture, like if you consider student and guide relationship, guide can participate in one instance of guide entity type. One instance of guide entity type means consider like guide G1, okay, G2, G3, okay, and this is here student S1, S2, S3. This is a set of entity set. This is entity type student and this is entity type sorry this is entity type student and this is entity type guide okay so what we are saying here what that a guide can guide multiple student okay so one guide can guide s1 and s2 also okay whereas s1 will be guided by only g1 not other okay s2 can be guided by G2 only. Okay. So one student is being guided by only one guide, whereas one guide can guide multiple student. Okay. So this is the restriction over our relationship where we are restricting the number of instance of a particular entity type can participate in the relationship. Okay. So here, number of instance, I mean this guide can participate in two relationship instance, okay, one with S1 and one with S2, okay, whereas this entity type can participate in only one relationship instance, okay, so where in the cardinality ratio, we basically care, take care about the number of relationship instance entity participates, okay, so now I hope this is clear, the number of relationship instance that an entity can participate in okay so we have three types of cardinality ratio okay so that's uh, kind of very easy to understand I'll uh, just draw it like this the first one is consider this is department and this is HODs Okay, D1, D2, D3, H1, H2, H3. Well, so each department will have only one HOD, right? So in this case, the relationship will be 1, 1. Okay, so like this, this, and this. Okay, the relationship will be 1, 1. Okay, so we call it as 1 to 1 relationship. Okay. 1, 1, 2, 1 relationship, 1 to 1 relationship. Let's understand it in ER diagram. Consider you have the same thing we will draw in ER diagram. How, how do we draw this in ER diagram? This is HOD, okay. This is your department okay and they have a relationship like managers uh, managers so HOD manages department okay the relationship will be 1 is to 1 okay each department will have 1 HOD right so the first one was 1 1 relationship Okay, this was first one. Let's consider another ex another type of relationship, which is, which is one to many relationship. Okay, one to yes. 
so consider this example we have student and department so each department will have multiple students okay but the student will be associated to only one department okay so if you draw it in ER diagram this will be something like this this is department okay let's student has department okay so student has department okay now this will be one student will have no uh, this will be in student will have or let's take M here M student has one department okay so this is many to one relationship okay or we can say it as 1 to 1 is to m or we also say many to 1 or 1 to many okay so this is cardinality another second type of cardinality ratio which is many one okay many instance of this particular entity type will be associated or will be participating in this has relationship okay that's what we want to say with this many to one or one too many if you consider one too many one instance of this department will be participating with the real many instance of this this entity type student in has relationship okay so that's what we want to say here now another type is many many relationship okay so in this example if you see this is student subject relationship a student can take multiple subjects okay and the subject will have multiple student right so see a student this is student have multiple subjects okay here is this subject has multiple students okay so this kind of relationship is called n is to m or many many relationship so how do we represent it in ER diagram we just entity this is student another entity this is subject relationship studies studies student studies relate subject and this will be n is to m okay well so we die uh, we now we understand all the three type of cardinality ratio cardinality ratio is basically the restriction over number of participation okay number of instance a relationship a number of instance in which an entity can participate so the first one was one one relationship in which one instance of a particular entity can participate in only one instance of another entity in a relationship okay one instance of HOD can participate in a relationship with only one instance of the department entity type okay now another one was one too many where one instance of the department can participate in the relationship has with multiple instance of the entity student then last one was many many where one instance of the student can participate in multiple can participate in the relationship with multiple instance of the uh, entity type subject okay so this is and the in other way around also okay like one student one subject will have multiple students okay so this was many many relationship in the next lecture we will understand another type of relationship constraint which is participation constraint okay so for now uh, uh,
enough for this lecture thanks for watching see you in the next lecture thank you